This is r, 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 r You know what? I'll just let his English VA teach us how to pronounce it. Hey, I'm Joe Zija, and I voice this guy in Genshin Impact. And here's how to pronounce his name. You just take all these letters in the middle, and you just forget them. So this is Worcestershire sauce. All right, I give up. Since I can't pronounce his name, I'm just gonna use his four-star counterpart. Now, he may not deal pure cryo damage, but he can still kinda deal cryo damage. Anyways, point is, he also punches. So, I say that's valid. Uh, hey, so, uh, it's been a while, I guess. I was supposed to stream this, like, a couple of days ago, but I got sick and all that, so I just decided to record this. But anyways, as you can see, this is my budget r r r r Rizzly, however you pronounce his name. Rizzly, he punches. Hazo, he punches as well. The only difference is, Rizzly has cryo punches, but Hazo has animo punches. If you guys didn't know, you could actually swirl elements and it's still gonna deal swirl damage of the corresponding element that you swirled, if that makes sense. Just like last time, I'm gonna be trying different setups here. So I have three different setups prepared. This is Riz 1. I'm only starting with this because just like last time, I think this is gonna be the highest damage just because of Ayaka's C4 death shred. But here are the other setups that I have prepared. Riz 2 is basically with Diona. So Diona just provides plus 200 EM, which is what the swirl damage thingy scales off of. Basically, it's level and EM only. Which is why I don't have to level up his normal attack talents as well. And Riz number 3, which is with Kaya, basically. <laughs> this is just for convenience, I guess. Because Kaya's burst would follow us around. So Hazo could just, I mean, budget Rizli could just go around and punch stuff, you know? Riz 1, the problem I can see already is Ayaka's burst going away not hitting everything, you know? It's only gonna uh, go in one direction. Riz 2, the problem I see is circle impact with Diona's burst, the usual circle impact. Whichever one of the three does the best, we're gonna take it in the Spiral Abyss again. And then we're gonna get Rizli's Riz rating out of 36, right? How much Riz out of 36 stars does budget Rizli have? So we got Ayaka, Instructor, I'm not sure if Ayaka is gonna trigger any reactions there, but it's fine. She can she can wear that. Uh, Sucrose with four piece VV. My sac frags is at level forty because my original sac frags I'm gonna plan to give to Hazo, which is this right now. So let's try to see how high I can take this weapon. I feel like just level eighty would be fine. Thankfully, I have some materials left over here. I feel like that's fine. So we got 834 EM. Okay, Shenha's only here for her burst, which shreds cryo resistance. I'm not sure if this actually works with the swirl reaction, like the cryo swirl thingy. But if it doesn't, I feel like it's fine. Cause I don't know who else to put on the fourth slot here. It's fine. All right, before anything though, I wanna try this with zero EM. Zero EM Hazo right now. I guess I might as well fight some Fontaine mobs. With zero EM, I don't think the swirl is gonna deal any cryo swirl thingy, but we'll see. So we gotta first apply cryo like this, then swirl like that. Oh wait, no, I, there was still some swirl damage right there. I didn't see the number properly there. Yeah, it's 581. Yeah, it's 581. I wonder how much the damage is going to increase if I actually gave him his sack frags. Alright, this is 221 EM right now. Maybe this is going to be a thousand? Maybe? Okay, way more than a thousand. It's a thousand five hundred now. So if I give him my full EM pieces, 
So for his artifacts, I don't have a particular set. I have Aloy holding them all. Maybe this is what Aloy was actually made to be. Aloy was the artifact loadout system that Genshin never gave us. I got a two-piece Flower Paradise and a two-piece Gilded Dreams, but we still gotta level this up, so the substats don't really matter here. And <laughs> that's that. Your average Genshin artifact, I guess. Our final EM is at, okay, a thousand EM. I think this is the first time I've reached a thousand EM on any of my builds, so I'll take it, I'll take it. I mean, look at this, bruh. My attack, defense, and EM all at a thousand. I don't know, that, that kind of looks pretty cool, I guess, in a way. If a while ago, 200 EM, right? We, we reached 1,500, maybe times 5 of that, because we got 1,000 EM right now, so... Oh wait, hold on. <gasps> okay, it, it's 3,000, never mind. I kind of overestimated there. It's only 3,000. In hindsight, I should have been rizzing up the thick-ass mechanic robots, but... Anyways, since the swirl reaction thingy scales off of level, I also plan to level 90 my Hazo, so we're gonna do that right now. Boom, alright. Alright, after the crabs, I guess I'm gonna go riz up some dummy thick Fontaine robots. So it was 300 or 3,700 a while ago. Now with a max level, it's 5,001, okay. Almost a flat 5,000 there, but 5,000 damage. I'm, I think I'm satisfied with that. Yep, that, that's a that's a lady lady robot right there. Let's go riz her up real quick. Yeah, 5,000. So pretty much the same. So the other neat thing about this is it, it spreads around. Like as you just saw there, there was like multiple 5Ks. Not even leveling up your normal attacks, you know. All right, I want to try this. We're gonna VV shred with sucrose, right? And then... Okay, that was 6,900. What a perfect number. Perfect number for raising up. Raising up the electro, I mean the mechanical robot lady. Alright, we'll not finish her off. Uh, we'll come back for a second date. Alright, so I'm not gonna be finishing... Well, I guess she finished me off. Uh, it's Masanori time. I also gotta use Ayaka's Burst. Or the Death Shred. I'm not sure if that actually helps though, but we'll try it out. Oh my gosh. I actually dodged. And then this thing. Wait, I, th I think I saw 7k? Yeah, it's 7300? Yeah, 7336. Okay, I'm guessing that is the highest damage with this setup right now. Yeah, it's 7336 probably gonna be the highest number to be honest that's what i'm guessing or maybe not maybe circle impact diona is actually better but we'll see i guess okay i'm just gonna give her the instructor set again even though i'm not sure if it's actually helpful but just to be consistent we're gonna give her the instructor set all right there you go four piece instructor c6 diona for the 200 em boost okay Wait, why is Paimon talking? By okay, I can't see the damage. There's no damage yet. Wait. Okay, wait. It's seven. It's the same. 7336. So actually, Ayaka's Death Shred wasn't helping a while ago. Because it's the same damage number. Could it just be coincidence that it's the same damage number? I have to make sure I'm standing on Diona's Circle Impact, though. Do this. this do this okay no never mind uh 8k was the highest number there eight something k so this is definitely higher damage all right so riz one is out of the picture all right riz number three the final one nah this is definitely gonna be the lowest damage though Kaya doesn't really do anything special for us here. It's just that he gives us freedom, you know? Freedom to move around and punch stuff. Four-piece instructor. 
Alright. Okay, start with Kaya's thing. This. Oh, wait. It's 7336 as well. I guess Ayaka really doesn't help. Maybe Death Shred really doesn't help with the elemental mastery stuff. Maybe, I'm not sure. But that's what it's looking like to me. Let me try this again without Shenha. Yeah, it's 6944. 6944 without Shenha. So, yeah, I guess Shenha does help, but Ayaka, she doesn't help with the Rizli punches. With the budget Rizli punches, I should say. All right, that's it. I guess it's circle impact time. Riz 2 was the highest damage. Not by a lot, but you know what? With multiple enemies, it's gonna stack up. We're gonna be rizzing up a lot of abyss enemies, a lot of abussies. Okay, so what's gonna be the technicalities here? I guess I'm just not gonna use my burst because that's technically a kick and I don't think the original Rizli kicks. I think he only uses punches, right? Because he has the gauntlets. So I feel like E-Skill is fair play. His normal attacks, of course, fair play. And that's pretty much it. All right, let's give this a shot. Okay, we gotta stay in the circle impact though for maximum elemental mastery. But yeah, it's 7,336. Okay, this is looking kind of slow though. Yeah, we just gotta, we just gotta muda muda our way here. Okay, this is the thing I don't, <laughs> I don't like about circle impact. Once we're out of the circle, it's, it's a GG, man. We always gotta have cryo on them though so we could actually swirl and deal the deal the cryo damage oh my gosh maybe diona's gonna finish it off okay that's fine thank you diona <laughs> anyways next okay they're pretty far apart okay so far it's looking okay oh they got pyroed Maybe I could actually melt them? With budget Rizli, of course. Right, it's gonna be pretty hard to see. Maybe not, yeah. Okay, that was kinda decent. Okay. Okay, wait. That looked pretty clean. The Pyro Gunslingers didn't even get their Pyro Shields. Oh yo, that was like, that was like a million 7Ks all at once. That looked pretty, pretty nice, not gonna lie. Okay. Just like last time, or unlike last time, if I actually die or lose a stage, that's gonna be it. I'm not gonna retry again, actually. Okay, wait. Feels like floor 10 is way easier than floor 9. Wait, it's one monster at a time here? If it's one mob at a time, then it should be easier. As long as the monolith doesn't take collateral damage. Pretty doable here. If they both came at the same time... Oh wait, that, that came out wrong. It would be way harder. <laughs> that came out even worse. Hold on. There we go. Boom. Okay. I thought that was gonna be enough. Almost lost a star here, but we were still able to pull through. All right, there you go. Final floor 11 chamber. Oh shit, wait. I don't think I've ever fought this guy before yet in the overworld. Can I freeze it? Okay, I can't. Do I have to kill them at the same time? That's what the double HP bar is suggesting, but... I have no idea. Bro, these guys are way tanky. Okay, I think this is where I die. <laughs> Actually, I think this is where I die. Okay, this is looking... Yeah, I already lost a star. <laughs> yeah, nah. Let's just see how long it'll take me to at least... At least beat one of them. Oh! 
There you go. Diona's down. That's it for the Spiral of Bussy. Unfortunately, Budget Rizzly was not able to riz up these Hydro Baymax looking ass. So what's the rating? 26 out of 36, right? 9, 18, 24. Bruh, we only got 24. <laughs> 24 out of 36 stars. Once again, we didn't reach floor 12, just like our last budget 5 star Spiral Abyss run with Blue Tau. But you know what? Maybe it's the scuffed teams we met along the way, or however the saying goes or some shit. Moral of the story though, if you can't pronounce the 5 star's name, just use a 4 star alternative. Alright, goodbye. Good luck on your Worcestershire polls.